Yesterday, I shared a video talking about what happened to the iconic bloodstained suit worn by Jackie Kennedy. But here are three additional facts. Number one, the suit that Jackie's wearing is designed by Coco Chanel. But this particular suit was not authentic, it was a replica. At the time, it was only acceptable for the First Lady to be wearing American designers. So this design was taken and made by Chez Ninon, I believe I'm saying the name right. But the materials to make the suit were sent from Paris. The First Lady was thrifty because the official authentic version cost over $10,000 and her version was only between $800 to $1,000. Number two, the outfit was accessorized by the iconic pillbox hat and white gloves. The hat was removed at Parkland Hospital while Jackie waited for news about her husband. It was then given to her personal secretary and she recalls that Jackie's hairs were actually still attached to the inside of the pin as in pulling the hair out of her head while yanking the cap off. Ever since that moment, it's been lost. And number three, since there wasn't color TV, the public didn't know she was wearing this watermelon color until seven days later.